What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general cleansing readings for all signs, tap to the side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general cleansing reading. Love you guys so much. Hope everybody is doing well. On the day before Turkey Day of 2022, 8.15 p.m. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so um, I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so I wasn't going to do another one tonight, but I got this channeling in, so we'll do it. Um, just saying. Okay, I hope everybody has a fantastical Thanksgiving. Just want to say that. I really hope everybody does um, from the bottom of my heart chakra. Okay. All right, so the channel message I received was... Um, a Taurus masculine is in love with, um, I heard you, Fem Energy, secretly in love with you, but he doesn't know how to tell you. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, he lives at a far distance from you. I heard that too. He lives at a far distance from you. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, we don't do lovey-dovey stuff up in here, but um, <laughs> y'all know that. We're into the occult. Uh, Cult knowledge up in this bitch. <laughs> and the shiesty, sneaky shit people do to people. <laughs> but um, this is lovey-dovey vibes. I mean, like, I heard love. Um, now, I'm sure he probably thinks you look good. He probably likes your body, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But I did hear love, um, and that's different than lust. Um, it's a Taurus masculine and your femme energy, if this resonates for you. Um secretly in love with you though so he hasn't told you he hasn't expressed it um what have you what have you but he does live at a distance from you ma'am if this resonates for you okay hopefully i mean if he ends up telling you hopefully it's a healthy love um if he doesn't tell you hopefully he healthily moves on just saying just saying but he hasn't told you spirit messages you have to collect this Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. Experiments to this year, but like this. Okay, after this, I feel like I had to pull from the other deck, so I will. Experiments to this year, but like this. It's a Taurus masculine. He could have Taurus in any aspects of his chart Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. For one, he's in his 20s. For one, he's in his 30s. For one, he's in his 40s. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So there's at least three Taurus masculines in the universe. Um, and at least three of you fem energies, I'm presuming. Uh, for one of you guys, he's in his 20s. So I'm presuming 20 to 29. For one, he's in his 30s. I'm presuming 30 to 39. And for one, he's in his 40s. I'm presuming 40 to 49. So you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, whoever whatever femme energy this is for so 20s 30s 40s for the Taurus masculine spirit messages you have uh, like this carriage a journey either physical or mental there's a reason he's keeping it in though and he lives at a distance from you I'm sorry, fat boy. You're good. You can lay down. Trying to get the cards out from under his body. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. So for one of the Taurus masculines, he's in his 20s. One, he's in his 30s. One, he's in his 40s. Spirit message is here outside, uh, for the collectors. Yeah, you can lay down, Booker. Beauty. 
her get another one. Spirit message is yours. Miracles. Happiness. Number 52, 31, or 7 could be very significant numbers. 52, 31, or 7. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. 52, 31, or 7. Camel, persevere, and you will overcome problems. He's torn on how to tell you because of the past. But for one, he may tell you soon. Through many series of chain events. Okay, so whether it's the Taurus in his 20s, 30s, or 40s, he's torn on how to tell you because of the past. But I heard through many series of chain events, he might tell you soon, ma'am. So I think he's going to mentally overcome something of the past um, and tell you for one of you. Now, there's at least three of you in here. So, for one, I think there's some kind of mental block here. Um, he doesn't know how to tell you because of the past, but there are many series of chain events he may. So, mental block here with him. And for one, he might persevere and overcome the mental block and tell you, for one. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. One is going to travel a far distance soon. He's going to be involved in helping you in a huge way. Serious crimes of the past. Okay, so for one of these Taurus masculines, whether he's in his 20s, 30s, or 40s, he's about to travel a far distance soon. I heard he lives at a long distance from you, so I'm assuming traveling from his far distance to your far distance um, or somewhere else to a far distance to help you because there's been some severe crimes against you in the past for one of them. Um, so it might be the same one, uh, might be the same one that might get over his mental block and tell you how he feels or not. But you plug it in how it resonates. Um, journey, physical journey here in this aspect, physical journey, persevering, overcoming problems, physical journey, traveling either to you or to a another person or place or situation. Um, because there has been severe crimes against you, ma'am, and he's going to be involved in helping with that. I feel like he could be an investigator, possibly, uh, like a private investigator, a Fed, or maybe police, or anybody else that's going to be involved in helping with some kind of crimes against you. Severe family narcissistic abuse. Severe family narcissistic abuse is what I heard. There was some kind of severe family narcissistic abuse. Um, if that resonates and applies for you, ma'am. Beauty, miracles, and happiness and transformation. I heard take it too. Number eight could be a very significant number in one's life. Number eight, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Um, 52, 31, 7 or 8. Beauty, miracles, happiness, transformation. For some, you, you could be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in your chart or be dealing with a Scorpio because transformation is Scorpionic energy or not. Or maybe the Taurus has Scorpio in his chart, possibly. There are many series of chain of events. For one, you're about to receive a very, 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 very large amount of money you should have received a long time ago. Once you receive this money, 
huge changes are going to occur in your life. Physically, on you, to other people around you, to everyone around you. It's going to make this uh, course very happy for you. Oh, well, this doesn't sound... Okay, so he doesn't sound narcissistic because he wants you to be happy. He doesn't sound narcissistic, whoever he is, whether he's in his 20s, 30s, or 40s. Um, he wants you to be happy. So he'll be happy that you receive this for one. Now, there's at least three of you in here. For one of you fem energies, you're about to receive a very, very, very large amount of money. I heard you should have received a long time ago. But for some reason, you haven't, but you're about to. But I heard once you receive it, there's going to be like physical changes on you. So I think you're going to change something up about your look or you might get work done or you might, you know, you might get your teeth cleaned. You might get a new haircut. You might get work like physical work done. Like, a, I don't know, some kind of cosmetic situation. I mean, whatever I guess you wanted to do there, but I heard on you to people around you and your home. So, uh, I heard it's going to make him happy. So, um, in this aspect, I think he thinks you're already beautiful externally and hopefully on the inside. He doesn't sound narcissistic towards you because he wants you to be happy. Narcissistic people do not want people to be happy. They take and take and take and take and give nothing in return. Um, and that's just the truth. They, I mean, they're not copacetic in the universe towards their victims. And that's just the truth. So, um. I think they already think you're aesthetically beautiful, and I think beautiful on the inside, too. They love everything about you. They love every, oh, my God, they love everything about you. So, internally and externally. They think you're beautiful, beautiful internally and external, and um, for one of them, you're about to receive a very large amount of money. You're going to basically use it on yourself and to better your situation. I heard you should have received it a long time ago, for one, and, um, I think it's going to enhance your beauty or or change up your look externally or maybe you're going to be beautiful on the inside and um, do something beautiful with it, however that resonates, but he thinks you're beautiful internally and externally. Miracles, I think in this aspect, is the money about to come to one of you guys, a very, very large amount of money you should have received a long time ago. This is about to be huge positive miracles in your life and others. This is about to be huge positive miracles in your life and others. So this money is going to be life changing for one of you. It's going to make you very happy. And it's going to create transformation in your life and others. So you're not just going to spend the money on you. You're going to spend it on other people too, ma'am. Um, and I think it might help pay off some bills, pay off some debt, or... Maybe you can invest it or save it. Or for one, you're going to do something on you. For one, you're going to do something in your home. For one, you're going to do something with other, for other people. So however you choose to spend your money. Um, but yeah, that's beautiful. Legal money. Legal money is what I just heard. It's legal money. It's legal money. It's not illegal. Well, that's always good. Not all money is good money. <laughs> and that's just the truth. But I did hear it's legal money. So Free and clear, it's not money laundered, it's not um, gotten through some kind of illegal business or businesses, I'm presuming, or legal money, so. This is about to make you so happy. So happy. 
There's about to be huge changes here. Very huge changes. This is about to make you so happy, so happy. There's about to be huge changes here. Very huge changes. Okay, ma'am. Well, I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.